Hey guys, I do myself here. Welcome back to the channel. Finally, Apple has released iOS 13.5 today to everyone worldwide. So if you have an iPhone that supports iOS 13, 13.5 is now available. You can head on over to settings, general software updates, and you'll see this software populate on your device. There it is. The latest build number has been pushed out to everyone. Now, iPad OS has also been delivered for iPad users. So if you have an iPad that supports iOS 13, 13.5 13 is now available for iPad users as well. Now, if you haven't been watching my coverage, iOS 13.5 is packed with great features across the board. Now, the software is approximately three and a half to four gigs. Now, keep in mind, this is not taking away three to four gigs from your device. This is overwriting the entire OS, as I always say, to establish a new OS. So there it is. 13.5 brings a ton of new features. We have the FaceTime speak option. That's a new feature under 13.5. If you didn't catch my coverage, I'll link down below the entire coverage and every feature detailed. We have the exposure notifications on the final build. There is a minor change, which I'll talk about here momentarily. We have the new and improved share medical ID information with emergency services, and emergency calls and dispatch. And we have a revamped lock screen medical ID as well. So let's head on over to settings, privacy, and under health, that is what we find the exposure notification. But now we have a new section here, exposure check. So if we click here, face ID pops up, use your face to unlock and you can check all of the exposure checks right here. So that is one minor change that Apple added to the final build for 13.5. Now, as I always say, always give it about 24 to 48 hours. I'll have some more information for you guys before updating if you wish to do that because in this device here, the iPhone 11 Pro Max, which was my primary device, Face ID did get bricked completely. I'm not sure what happened here. This could be an isolated incident, something that may just happen to me, maybe someone else, but I recommend holding off on updating the 13.5 for at least two days to see if this is a widespread issue that happens to face id devices after the final build is already established just give it some time i really do recommend that but if you are going to update just keep in mind that is something that did happen on my primary iphone 11 pro max or what was my primary iphone the 11 pro max and there you guys have it ios 13.5 finally out for everyone worldwide ipad os as well and of course watch os 6.2.5 is out there as well hope you guys enjoyed the video have a great day and i'll see you real soon peace